I sound like I know what I'm talking about, but I don't. <laughs> As I said, I look at my part and if I, whether or not I get to throw up on stage. Yeah. So, um. <laughs> Which is the plot. It should be good. Which, it's a plus. Oh, yeah. And if it's not in the script, I'll put it in, by God. So. <laughs> I think when I first read Detroit, I was tra attracted, uh, first of all, to um, all five of the characters. And uh, I love first reading a play, and, just, and when I know, I, I love seeing a cover letter or an email that says, and look at the part of blah, 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 because I can't wait to get to it. And uh, there are very few parts that I've ever read that uh, I wouldn't die to play. But um, as I'm reading Detroit along, and <laughs> First of all, I was struck by the humor of it, uh, which is always a plus for me. I like uh, the fact that the people behave in in an adolescent way, totally age inappropriate. Um, that to me was funny and sickening at the same time. I liked the way that the the cast shaped up, thanks to Martha. Um, because not only um, do I look at the part that I would play selfishly, you know, or myopically, but I uh, like to make a choice based on the people that are doing it. Obviously, the play, Steppenwolf, I was dying to come back anyway, uh, find something that to, to bring me back. But um, I know that with this uh, group headed by Austin, uh, It'll be a, a, a swell fall in Chicago. I loved working with Austin the last time around because of, of the time that he takes at the beginning, letting people feel it out for themselves. And then, because you don't, uh, 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 in, uh, a after a while, then the actor starts craving um, more suggestions. Tell me, tell me things I haven't thought of. Show me, show now. Show me what you liked and didn't like of of you know the colors I threw up there. So um, he starts to come in uh, with a firmness r right when you want it, mm -hmm. and not before. I love being an actor. I just got an Obi a few weeks ago. And I realized that it was 20, it was exactly to the month, 25 years since I had a previous OB for Balm and Gilead. Wow. And, um, and that meant so much to me because I, I said in the acceptance speech, I, I, it, because it floored me that 25 years had gone by and I still love what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Love it. That, that's what I said, you know, I said if I could go back in time 25 years ago at this Balm and Gilead acceptance and know that for the next, it, it gets me emotional, for the next 25 years I'll be able to do the same stuff. Right. You know, it's so um, lucky. Yeah. And I, I'm so lucky that my passion for it hasn't diminished because it's, it's, um, it's a it's something that I count on in my life.